If you're making a cuppa, does the milk? I know. Oh, gas, but no audible gas. <laughs> does it go in first or second? <laughs> oh, and did I ask you? <laughs> OK, hey, not everybody forward. agrees. First or second? Second. First? Some people shouting first? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The trouble is that there is no correct answer. That is the point. Uh, yet, opinion is so unbelievably strongly uh, divided, but the British Standards Institution has a 5,000-word report <laughs> on the correct way to make tea. Which you are going to read out to us now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pray see for you. Okay. That's like when they dramatise the Levinson inquiry or it something is. like that. It's going to be like <laughs> We're going to do an interpretive dance. Okay. <laughs> Here is the definitive thing from them. They say milk should go in first. Oh, I know, I know. Mm. I know, it's very upsetting for some people. And they also say you should have two grams of tea per 100 ml of water and it should be brewed for six minutes and served at a temperature between 60 and 85. Milk first, a 2003 experiment at Loughborough University found that adding milk after the water can heat it unevenly, and that leads to the protein in the milk clumping. But Yorkshire tea says milk second, particularly if you're brewing in a mug. Then you should brew the tea first, otherwise the milk will drag down the temperature of the water. If the tea bag's in the cup, you can't put milk until it's brewed. That is the That'd thing. That'd be stupid. Yeah, so the milk has to go in second. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that debate, they're called miffers, uh, milk in first and tiffers, tea in first.